Washington quarterback Michael Penix Jr., one of the top prospects this year, had his pro day workout last week. Lefty, we like that. Chris yeah. and I, both yeah. left-handed. Nice to see a left-hander breaking into the NFL. Chris, what did you take away from Penix? Well, I think the Michael Penix really helped himself. I think, one, just because of the way he looked out there, right? A little bit, oh, is he frail, right? He's kind of long and skinny, and he has the injury history. But he obviously showed you, oh, look, like I, I can put some weight on. I can look like a specimen more than you realize, right? The 40 time he ran was really impressive because he's very looked at as, wait, he's a pocket passer. Yeah, well, when the pocket's open, Mr. Pocket Passer's got four or five speed to go run for some, you know, yards here. This is not just a pocket passer here. That's an athlete. Let alone, Mike, he is such a natural thrower of the football. Just the clips you saw there. You don't need to be an ex-quarterback in the NFL or a head coach. You saw it. It comes out of his hands so clean, so effortless. He can do whatever. Like, it's Michael Penix Jr. is a first-round quarterback. There, he is a top-20 pick. The difference between J.J. McCarthy and Michael Penix to me is I don't know what. Just low injury history and he's younger? Doesn't everybody in the league want a guy that's experienced and played a lot? Well, this is that guy that does it. He can push the ball all over the field, right? He's extremely talented. There's no way you can watch film of Drake May or Michael Penix Jr. and come away watching the film and go, Drake May is better than Michael Penix Jr. There is absolutely no way. None. Let alone could you come away from the workouts and doing that. Michael Penix Jr. is being underrated in this draft. Him, J.J. Wow. McCarthy, Bo Nix are so close. They're all right there. And, yeah, he is definitely worthy of a top 20 pick in my eyes, Mike. He reportedly will visit this week with the Giants, Falcons, Falcons, Raiders, Broncos, and Ooh. Steelers. Ooh. Ooh. Intriguing. Ooh. Pittsburgh. Ooh. I would hate, favorite team. I would think the Raiders. Jr. First favorite team might be looking at him, too, and trying <laughs> yeah, to stay seriously. off the radar. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, he's, he's going to be ready to go. He's played in a big-time offense. The offense was on his shoulders to make throws, decisions. So you talk about the guys here, right? I mean, experience. Him and Bo Nix have played a ton of football. It's two years in a row of 4,500-plus passing yards, and it wasn't like he was throwing, you know, 74 screens a game. He was throwing the ball down the football field. Like, I look at the Raiders and go, hey, you might get shut out. I don't know what's going to happen with where you're sitting in the draft. But, man, you're telling me they wouldn't, they don't want to take Michael Penix Jr. there at, what, what are they, pick 13, 12, somewhere in there? Yes, you know? 13. Right. You know, so I, I would certainly think that's, that's on, the, on the board for the Raiders. He, he seems to have really long arms. Very long arms. Huge the hands. we showed. Right. And – and what impressed me when the cause was lost against Michigan, we talked to him about this at the Super Bowl. He was injured. He kept he hung in trying there. to grab at right. an area like lower abdomen. He was getting no protection whatsoever. He did not tap out. He hung in there. Now, he, he seemed defeated, but he did not quit. Yeah. He stayed in right. there until the very end. It would have been very easy for him to justify walking away and just calling it a day because it was over for Washington in that game, but he but he stayed in there. And I think that's just one of those intangible qualities that project to, you know, a guy that, that that's there right. are going to be days where it's not my day, and those are the days where the great ones find a way to turn it into their day to yeah. reverse that momentum. Right. We're going to take a break. When we return, can the UFL build any momentum? Can spring football ever thrive? The latest iteration debuted this weekend. I got a few thoughts on that. We'll discuss that when PFT Live continues right after this. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.